First on four, Brownsville ISD making a change to their student dress code after the school board receives a petition. The board has decided to remove a line stating that male students could not wear female attire. CBF4's Nestor Mato spoke to a former BISD student who says the rule was negatively affecting transgender teens. Rudy Inojosa graduated from Hannah High in 2012. He says he always thought that rule was silly, but didn't realize its severity until meeting and talking to transgender people. That's why he says he rallied to have it changed. Over 500 people signing a petition created by BISD alum Rudy Hinojosa. Hinojosa, who spoke to me on Skype from San Marcos, where he attends Texas State University, says he hoped to change the dress code that he says was discriminatory. Written in a way that aren't specifically transphobic, but have the side effect of essentially making dressing as your gender against the rules. The dress and accessories rule said male students shall not be allowed to wear female attire. While in high school, Hinojosa says he always found it to be an odd rule, but never realized how it could affect others. Expression of someone's gender identity can become under attack. The rule only applied to male students and did not mention a ban on females dressing in male clothing. Hinojosa said he wrote an email to board members, but after a week he had not heard back, leading him to post the petition on change.org. In part, it read, dismiss this rule and send a message to all students that their gender identity is valid at the time they most need to hear it. They deserve better. The Youth Suicide Prevention Program says 50% of transgender youth will attempt suicide at least one time by their 20th birthday, most saying they experience severe bullying at school. Because your school is supposed to be a place where you feel safe. The board mentioning the online petition when they changed the rule earlier this month. An online notice that there had been a, a survey uh, regarding a, a complaint, we were holding boys um, accountable for a different dress code than we were holding the females. What is not acceptable is our dress code. We talked to residents about the change. Changing the rule to bar any inappropriate dress is probably the way to go instead of genderizing it. You know, Hosa said he did get some backlash. It was mainly coming out of... Um, them not really understanding the implications. We reached out to the district who sent CBS 4 News this statement. There was an item in the Brownsville Secondary Dress Code for grades 6 through 12 adopted in 1998, which needed revision to make it gender neutral. The item was replaced with an updated statement. BISD went on to say that they don't discriminate. Hinojosa says he will continue to fight for equality. Changing the rule is a huge step towards validating those students and a message to those students that they're welcome and that they have support from the ISD. School administrators can still ban clothing that they deem distracting or inappropriate. In the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.